Welcome to the weekly Threat Insights group discussion. I have the first item on the agenda, and I just said this to everybody that's on this call, but now it'll be here on the recording for posterity. Uh, we've scheduled a knowledge sharing session on Thursday to try and get some questions answered across the secure group. Please populate your questions in the agenda in advance so that we can make sure we have the right audience and try and get things answered asynchronously as much as possible. It will be recorded for people who cannot attend. Moving on. I made Savash add the next item, but I'm also going to make him say it. <laughs> yes, one second. I'm still trying to open the document. It's all right. Uh, it's just that you're going to be out next week, Savash. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm, I just found it out. Yeah, it's here. Uh, I'm going to be out next week. Exactly. Doing anything fun? Uh, yes, going to the beach, Bodrum, uh, with family, uh, spending some time with them bringing also awesome. Cookie with us. Uh, he'll also see the seed for the first time, the dog. So, Neato. Uh, yeah. Alexander, you've got our demo screenshot. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks great. It doesn't the alignment at all. That too. What's wrong, Alexander? Staging. Sorry, I am having technical difficulties. Like, I'm working on it. But yes, it's uh, it's in staging now. Uh, at least I identify a column. Ignore the scanner column, working on it. Great. So you're adding, cool. as part of Next. this milestone, yeah. and you're adding both the identifier and the scanner. You're saying the identifier is there, ready to look at. The scanner is a work in progress. Awesome. Correct. Thank you. And you're adding these to all the dashboards? Which dashboards? The project level and then the pipeline security tab. Yeah, there's some discussion in that issue, Lindsay, run on the group and the instance level dashboards because they've got the like the visualization little widgets down that right hand side. It squished everything together. I'm gonna hold off on there for now until we can actually separate out the the list into a separate page. Excellent. Thanks for sharing, Alexander. And we are on to planning breakdown, unless anyone else has demos or previous discussions that they would like to bring up at this time. Keto. So we rolled over some stuff from last week, and we'll hopefully have some more success getting through it today. So Jonathan, we've got the top issue. If you want to speak to it. Uh, sure. Um, uh, there's been, a, I don't know, hopefully everybody's gotten a chance to kind of sort through that issue. It's it, there's a lot of conversation in that one. Um, this is one actually that I finished and then got told, no, that's not all of it. Um, and then kind of been trying to go back and forth to figure exactly what the ask is looking for on this. Um, looking, I'm actually having to read back through my notes on it. Um, about linking versions in the finding branch instead of the master branch. Uh, since we don't have any branch other than the default, it, it says it's master branch, but it's whatever the default branch is. Um, since we don't have anything other than the default branch in the dashboard, we won't see things linked um, uh, for the bugs um, from the dashboard itself, uh, or for the vulnerabilities from the dashboard itself. And um, if I remember right, Jonathan, um, is this one where it would be helpful to go back to the reporter and say, you know, here's what we've done so far. It feels like, like you said, this yeah. is uh, kind of grown and morphed and um, you've lost some clarity over what is still left to be done yeah. here. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably the best thing to do is go back to him to, to say what exactly he needs. Because uh, when you go to a vulnerability, click create issue, it does link to the default branch. Um, that is the case if we 
don't have the the blob or the, the commit sha that's coming in, I believe. Um, uh, because every everything I mean, th that information should be coming from the the scanner um, into the metadata. Um, the commit. Um, so I think I'm going to pause you. I think we're definitely right. outside of planning breakdown. Like you're oh, you're in. Yeah. No, it's okay. You've been looking at this for quite a while, and I think maybe we've gotten to a place where setting up a half hour with Dennis Applet, the reporter of this, uh, and maybe Tiago or. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but like getting some folks to focus specifically on this topic to to bring some more clarity for you. Would that help? I think so. Um, yeah, and the other one, the, yeah, the other part of this thing, and it, it probably is not even planning breakdown, um, uh, but it's just something that keeps popping up is, uh, and it's actually letter B on there as well. Uh, you know, we have the overall structure, and I, you know, that's, that's a lot of the other, you know, backend engineers have, had the same issue um, where the vulnerabilities, findings, feedback, those tables, there's some circular dependencies, there's replicated data. Um, you got to go through one to get to the other. Um, you know, I, I think when we put in the, the vulnerabilities, we were, we said eventually we need to get everything back in sync and back in line, um, kind of clarify the structures. And I think if we need to do that sooner than later. Um, I've got the task to get with Mehmet about a plan on that. And we've got a, a coffee chat scheduled for tomorrow morning, which I'll spring that on him. <laughs> so we'll, we'll talk about that um, tomorrow morning and go for it on so that. Guys, what, if you could put those notes that you're going to meet with Mehmet, that'd be great. You just put that in yep. the You guys are going to brainstorm it. I'd like to know a little more like what kind of data integrity is occurring? And we can save the second question. What solutions would you recommend sure. until you guys talk tomorrow? You folks took tomorrow, but what are the data integrity issues? What, what kind of what's happening? Uh, so um, the one that I just had to create a migration for where the the feedback, not all the feedback was getting into the vulnerability, um, the dismissed by and dismissed at um, fields were in the feedback, but that data didn't get pulled from vulnerabilities. And we were only pulling the data from the vulnerabilities to show the dismissed that it dismissed information. Um, the other one I think was one that the leap had brought up. Um, I'm sorry, I think that one's the, I just clicked the wrong. The first one I think is the one that the leap had so brought is up. So the data wasn't stored where it should be or wasn't read where it should be? Or, or kind of I, I think it, um, both. Uh, it's not being, uh, that data exists in, um, let's see, so the dynamic issue status doesn't link to all the issues. Um, because guys, it's not the database tables are corrupted or have no, it's that it, some some of the codes not updating the tables and some of the codes not reading the right data from the tables. That right. Be, um, Mehmet had put it, uh, the note in here about um, the um, you know getting the information. Uh, I can actually explain the problem with the first. Yeah, one. yeah. Uh, so the thing is like uh, previously, I don't know the reason. Like we were using the uh, occurrence feedback to collect the issues, like create the issues in the database. At some point, we also, we, we introduced another model called issue links. So we started writing the data into another table uh, while implementing a feature to show the icon, like issue icon, if the vulnerability has issue in the security dashboard. I used this issue links model, but the details page was using another model. And after like implementing this new, uh, like creating this new model, probably at some point we forgot to migrate the data from the like old table to the new table. So this is why we had this like uh, discrepancy. So uh, if we just like create like, like new entities for the new table, then the issue, issue will uh, be gone. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm also like, uh, I also prop like, proposed uh, like workaround. So till we fix the issue, we can just like implement a patch workaround and then like migrate the data and then roll back the workaround. Yeah, that seems to be the common theme with uh, these data integrity issues where it existed in an old model, but it didn't get moved to the new model and we're pulling that information from the new model. Um, so we, that's the other thing is we need, I feel like we need to check and see the data that should have been migrated you know, go through our models and check to make sure the data that should have been migrated did get migrated. If it didn't, to try to preempt some of this stuff. 
that's not um, getting pulled over. Is that something that would help to have an issue to track or is that something that we could do in our own time doing that analysis of the models? I mean, I think it's worth it to have an issue um, just so we can track it. Do you think, I, oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. Um, shoot, I don't remember what I was saying. Now go ahead. <laughs> would it be beneficial for us to have a meeting? Like it sounds like mm, it didn't get migrated maybe because there's some history behind here that we, we don't know about. Would it be beneficial to maybe set up a synchronous meeting with some people who used to work on this code and like, then we could uh, ask them like, there. Like we have on Thursday? Oh, oh, yeah. do we? Yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. I don't know. I'm just yeah. spitballing here. No, no, it, that, that occurred to me for sure when we were talking um, about the, the meeting on Thursday is, is yeah. figuring yeah. out the historical reasons behind some of the stuff, maybe figure out what their plan was moving forward. If there were steps that they had anticipated and missed that didn't get, you know, document or something that we did not anticipate. Um, and, you know, no, totally, totally on board with you. Yeah. So if y'all could, could put just some of your notes in there, um, maybe we can wait until, um, I know I'm harping on this too much, but I've been trained well over the last two weeks. Uh, maybe we wait till you got, till you meet, uh, you know, tomorrow and write up the issue and maybe we review the issue. But if you could put a summary or especially correct anything I got wrong or and add anything key I missed, to the notes. I tried to take notes on what, what you said. That'd be great. Okay. Would, would we be better suited with a little bit more time to prepare, prepare for this conversation on Thursday for these types of items are targeted for that? I mean, is Thursday too soon? I mean, I think it might be beneficial to go ahead and have the one on Thursday and then we will need a follow-up meeting okay. uh, that comes from it. So I don't think it's, it's bad to go ahead and have that first meeting. Uh, we've got one last item, which is, I think, actually one we discussed last week, and it's in planning breakdown. I know Alexander has add, added some questions, so let's, I'm just going to share. I think that might be easier for this one. Um, should we just look at it like we haven't talked about it before? Because I don't think Matt was here when we talked last week and jump right in. We can look for carrots first to see if anyone put any carrots on it. Hey, look at I put a carrot on it because I reviewed this issue in advance. Aw, good job, Lindsay. So we have this issue about <laughs> warning about failed jobs on the project security dashboard. So let me just pull up the designs because I think that's the easiest thing to look at. And they are somewhere. And we have designs for this, Andy, or I guess this is Becca's issue. Yeah, this is, Becca's been working on this. There's, I, I refuse to scroll to the comments to find designs. I won't do it. Uh, <laughs> too long, didn't read. I think <laughs> Alexander's comments in the doc are appropriate. It was a little bit of a, a little bit of a rodeo. I think there's a ton of PMs weighing in on this and what they expect, which I think isn't helping with isolating the MVC in the final direction. I went back and updated the description with kind of like a let's check ourselves and make sure we're solving the problem and not just make, you know, grabbing solutions that exist or something. So I have a one on one with Becca right after this call and I'll talk to her about streamlining that and just getting the simplest thing we can get there because it's just really ballooned. So this might be a good example of this could be our crazy balloony design issue. The results of this design issue move into an epic and it's nice and organized and it's got all of the final decisions that were made over the course of the several months that this design issue has been discussed. And that epic might be a better thing for us to look at next week in planning breakdown so we don't have to weed through all the discussion and we know that Andy's seal of approval is on all the final uh, design decisions. Yeah, All that right. sounds good. And Andy, I think you and I should probably touch base too, because I, I guess the discussion didn't progress much past when I went out on PTO, and it sort of looked like, hey, we've taken this too far, but I'm not clear what the the pairing back should look like necessarily. It 
does it require a revision to the existing designs? Because they, they pretty much started here and then turned into this big thing that was a, a very large tent that encompassed several different use cases for different scanners. I think we can take like a reductionist approach to what's already there and just like pull out things and say, oh, that's great. This could be a 13.5 ultimate design direction, but 13.3, 13.4, it's the least amount of work we can get in that then communicates your pipeline failed. Gotcha. So it does sound like we still need to do a little bit more cleanup in terms of the clarity of what is and is not from how the, des the design sort of evolved forward we actually want to make the cut line for for this one okay. Yeah. yeah okay and alexander i maybe i just missed it or were they older than a week i didn't see any new comments from you on that particular issue i wasn't sure which what you were referring to yeah sorry the uh these comments in the doc were pulled from prior week meetings. And so I had left issue questions that you had answered several weeks ago, but um, so that is that point number two for me is like old questions. And then my question at the bottom regarding the stability of this to comment on is this week's where I just looked at the comments. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that there weren't any outstanding questions that you had that were not answered in the thread no we i don't even know what to ask right now so we're good <laughs> okay wayne ran off without verbalizing his final agenda item so i think we're done no need to cover it verbally every give, everyone give it a read when you get a sec i have one update that i'm going to add to the yay doc go ahead uh the solution validation work is progressing in an issue that will be posted in here as well for the MR changes we want to make uh, that is on time. Lindsay, I know that you posted a question saying, is solution validation, like what's the expectation? Um, it will be wrapped by the end of 13.2. So is the hope that. to have that work planned and ready to go in 13.3 or 13.4? Uh, that's still up to Matt. Throw that, throw that over the fence. Because it's a, if it's the end of thirteen two, we need a little bit of time to look at it going into thirteen three. So even if it's you know you've got a few caveats of like we're not one hundred percent agreed on here, maybe we should talk about it earlier rather than later. Yeah, and I think even if it's not teed up for thirteen three, just like boom, it's done. Like put a bow on it, and it can get picked up in another milestone, right? But this is a good, I'm glad you brought this up, Andy. Uh, while we have everyone on the call, looking forward to the next like two milestones or so, it feels to me that we've got a lot of focus on the pipeline view and the, the security widget of the pipeline view and the security tab. Is that a correct assessment? I think there's a fair amount of things in there. There should be some things in the higher level dashboards as well. Like, I asked because we haven't started looking at those yet. So we can give folks a, you know, some, some forewarning and start spending a little bit of time digging into that code and familiarizing yourself with it, uh, you know. I think the main things for the, the project and the instance, or sorry, the group and the instance level dashboard specifically are going to be to start separating out the vulnerability list component into a separate standalone page um, to, to kind of a, number one, address the real estate challenge, and the number two, the vulnerability list is really more of sort of an interactive report. It's not really a dashboard per se, and that will sort of set the, the forward direction for having true dashboards with you know, little charts and graphs and dashboardy things on them. So um, I'm not sure if I have put the bits of work in there yet, but those are going to be things that I'd like to look at in like the 13.3, 13.4 as well. Cool. I partially ask because we've been having a lot of conversations about migrating certain things to use GraphQL. So I know the front end team have been talking about it and whether it makes sense on the, the vulnerability details page. You know, I've been kind of pondering the same thing around uh, how do we keep the dashboard view, or sorry, the pipeline view in sync with the dashboard. So, you know, I this just planting seeds for everyone on the call here. Um, 
the benefits and challenges of updating other areas besides the dashboards that we currently have using GraphQL, I think is something we should be thinking about and talking about in upcoming milestones. And I will add that as a, as a note here so that folks uh, can see it on the agenda. And on that, I, unless anyone has any other topics, I think we're done. And I will see you all in 10 minutes at the retrospective. It's such a fun morning hanging out with all of you. Yay.